Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video where we are discussing how the month of December 2022 is going to be for people who have the Aries sign. When I say the people who have the Aries sign, I mean all those people who when they were born, their moon was either traveling in the Aries sign or their ascendant fell in the Aries sign. So if you are the person who has the Aries sign, then let us first of all understand where the planets are traveling this month in your horoscope. We have Rahu, that is the dragon's head, in your first house, Mars in your second house, Ketu in your seventh house, Sun in your eighth house, along with Venus and Mercury. And in the tenth house, we have Saturn. And in the twelfth house, we have Jupiter. What does all of this mean for various aspects of your life is exactly what we are going to see right away. Let's first of all talk about your luck factor. The, the lord of your luck happens to be the ninth lord Jupiter who is sitting in the twelfth house but is comfortable. However, if any planet sits in the twelfth house, it is not supposed to be a very good position therefore the luck is going to be average this month however in case you were planning to go for a long travel to go for studies abroad or anything related with the foreign country then probably this luck is going to support you in all such endeavors moving on to your health this month the lord of the first house the ascendant who's responsible largely for your health is traveling in the taurus sign which is not very comfortable position for Mars to be in. Therefore, if you are facing any kind of digestive problems or stomach upset, then it would be nice for you to do Hanuman Chalisa every morning once. Apart from this, if you have been suffering from overthinking because Mars is there in your ascendant or the first house which is responsible for your health, then it would also make sense for you to do the beach mantras of Rahu, which is Om Brahm Bream Brahm Sah Rahve Nama. A detailed video on this mantra uh, is already available on my channel, which you can see to make sure that you pronounce the mantra correctly. Talking about your love life now, love is seen from the fifth house and the owner of the fifth house in your case happens to be Sun, which is traveling right now in the eighth house, which is not a very conducive conducive thing but on the 16th of December this Sun is going to move to Sagittarius and then form a very good aspect with the fifth house that means that after the 16th of December the love prospects will be better but before that you have to be careful that you don't have to speak in a harsh manner because Mars is sitting in the second house and watching this sun and therefore there might be circumstances where in your communication you might l use this uh, harsh tone which might lead to some misunderstandings. Talking about your married life, the owner of your seventh house is Venus which is there in the eighth house which is not a very good and conducive position for the seventh lot to be in. Therefore there can be some problems related to the health of the spouse. However, after the 5th of December, when Venus moves on to Sagittarius, the health of the spouse is going to be better. S but, since Ketu is already sitting in the 7th house, this might have been leading to some kind of problems between you and your spouse or some kind of health issues might have been there for your spouse and if that has been the case then chanting of the beach mantras of Ketu or doing Ganesh Chalisa would be helpful for your spouse. The beach mantras of Ketu are Om Sram Sreem Sram Sa Ketve Nama. Once again Om Sram Sreem Sram Sa Ketve Nama. A detailed video on, on this particular mantra is already available on my channel. If you want to pronounce this mantra correctly you can watch this video and then just speak along with it. Talking about the education prospects, now the Lord of Education, that is the fifth Lord, is in the eighth house, so till the 16th of December. It is not a very conducive period for taking examinations, for doing uh, correspondence regarding to 
uh, your higher studies however from the 16th of december when sun is going to move to sagittarius then it is going to be a very conducive time for your education so the later half of december promises to be good as far as educational prospects are concerned moving on to career now so the lord of your career is saturn which is there in the capricorn sign which is a very good position to be in so if you were planning on doing some new things or just completing some tasks which you are already into then this is going to be a fruitful month however for those of you who are in service you might face a little opposition from your boss for the initial few days till the time when mars move on to gemini and it will not uh, be a too much opposition so it is a basically a green light for you to carry on with certain ideas which you might have which you wanted to implement for the previous few months talking about your business now so after the 5th of december when venus moves on to the sign of sagittarius and that time the monthly income is going to increase however in case you have been facing a problem as far as income is concerned for the past say about six to seven months then just keep chanting ketus beej mantras om sram srim sram saket venama and this will alleviate your problems and all this is subject to the planetary positions and their combinations in your birth chart well uh, talking about the planetary changes happening in December 2022, first of all, we have the Sun moving into Sagittarius on the 16th of December. This is called a Sakranti. It is a wonderful day if you want to keep some fast or you want to donate something. Then we have Venus traveling to the Sagittarius sign on the 5th of December and again into the Capricorn sign on the 29th of December. We have Mercury entering the Sagittarius sign on the 3rd of December. Mercury will also enter Capricorn later on the 27th of December but the weird thing is that it is going to get retrograde on the 29th of September and then on the 31st get back into the Sagittarius sign. For this whole month Saturn is going to be direct but it is still going to be in Capricorn. Talking about the combinations of planets happening in this month we have the full moon occurring on the 8th of December which is uh, a good date in case you want to start something, you want to uh, get into a house, you want to start a new business, etc. Then we'll have the waning half, that means the Christian Paksh, uh, that is the dark half of the month, till the 23rd of December when you have the new moon. And from then onwards, the moon will start to increase and you'll have the waxing half of the month. Talking about uh, some of the good yogas, we have the Gaj Kesri Yoga, which is formed with the combination of Moon and Jupiter, which is happening on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 9th and the 10th, the 16th and the 17th and the 18th, the 23rd, the 24th, the 29th and the 30th of December. We have the Mahalakshmi Yoga, which is a combination of Moon and Mars, which is happening on the 7th and the 8th of December. Again, we have the Buddha Aditya Yoga, which is, means the combination of Sun and Mercury from the 16th till the 27th of December. And all this month, Saturn is going to make Shash Yoga because it is going to stay in the sign of Capricorn. This is all I have for you for the month of December. May God shower upon you his choicest blessings all this month. Let us meet in the next video. This is Prabhul Frank Nandavani signing off.